Hey guys, what's up? Jay here, and this is the last video you will see with my friend Barnacles. I'm going back to Washington. Woohoo! And I'm equally as sick of him as you guys are, I promise. He's not really. He's lying. Liar, big, dirty, filthy liar. Well, first of all, right now I am currently in New York City. We're not like currently, currently. Just at the time of watching. Oh yeah. We have one I of those forgot. like time matrix things going on. Oh here. well then then I'll be in Seattle. Yeah. So he's not here, I'm not here. You guys are watching this because I didn't want to leave you guys without any videos. We're gonna go ahead and turn some laps here and then I'm gonna coach Jerry in the BMW Z4 uh, GT3 on Lime Rock, which is pretty easy. It's a small track, it's wide. Yep, That's and, you, and you've already seen how I've driven on that track. It's pretty horrible. So left Upside to my down. own, left yeah, pretty much left to my own devices. I can't drive for shit on that course. So I'm curious to see if with Jay's coaching, I can actually do a lot better in a little amount of time. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. I'm going to do a couple of laps here. I'm pretty much just going to tell you what I'm doing and what I'm thinking while I'm doing it. Half of it's going to be like food, and the other half is going to be like sex. Okay. And then when that stuff isn't actually coming out of my, I was going to say coming out of my mouth. Oh, this video is just <laughs> coming out of your where. So I'm going to basically coach this guy, I'm going to do some laps, tell him why I do what I do, see if we can't improve his lap times and maybe you'll beat my time. Let's hope so. Now disclaimer, I am not a professional driver. I have had my racing license back in the past, but that was well over 15 years, well, about 12 years ago. He's just covering his ass in case this all goes horribly wrong. Yeah, well that's the disclaimer. So there's plenty of you guys out there who can turn a faster lap and for that I genuinely applaud because that is, it's not easy. So if you're on a faster lap, tell Jerry how to drive, tell me how to drive. So let's go ahead and get in some Lime Rock, some Z4 GT3 action, and uh, let's let's just go ahead and get onto it. All right, guys. Well, I'm here on Jay's piece of shit simulator right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn a couple laps my way on Lime Rock in the GT3 BMW here. The M, it's the Z4, right? It's a Z4 GT3. Z4 GT3. Stock pedal, stock wheel. This is all bone stock. It's all, G27. All bone stock stuff. But Jay already kicks my ass even with my like $2,500 rig. So I'm going to turn laps my way, and then we're going to have Jay coach me, and then we're going to turn some other laps, and let's go ahead and compare the times. It's kind of like it went down in Days of Thunder. Yeah. Okay, well, first it's off, a, it's paddle, it's, right? It's paddle. Okay. <laughs> All right. Stay over to the right of the yellow line. There you go. Do a warm-up lap. So, very first thing to remember guys, first lap is always a warm up lap. The tires are cold, you're not going to be able to turn, you pretty much just have to drive cold. That was one of my wrecks. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Alright, so in this turn, this is a second gear turn. Okay. You spent every turn in here in third gear. I did. That's a second gear turn. Okay. Now my line here is, because of the S turn followed, followed by this turn number three right here, yep. you want to actually come wide on this turn. You want to get high on the groove. 
That way you can come in tight and you're already set up for the next turn. Oh, I was Otherwise you're turn. Yep. squiggly through here. Okay. And then you can be full throttle all the way through here. Your tires might touch the rumble strip. And then you're set up for the next turn. Okay. So the most important thing in racing is your entry and exit need to make sense for the next turn. Okay. Sometimes it may, the entry may not make sense until you exit the turn and you realize you're lined up for the next turn. Got it. Coming through here, this for me is going to be a fourth gear turn, flat out fourth gear. Uh, apex it to the outside. This car has so much downforce and such a big wing, you can go full throttle through here. And I was lifting on every one of my laps. Yeah, you don't yeah. need to lift unless you're in the middle of a turn. If you're, gotcha. in the, if you're in the middle of turning through there, you have to lift or you're going to get light and come around. Got it. This is also a fourth gear flat out turn for me. Um, it's a bit of a slide. If you get this turn and you apex it right, you pretty much right about here on the turn will just kind of slide out to about right here under full turning force. Okay. And you're perfectly lined up for this. You spent this turn, this, this last turn. This one's tricky. This one always gets me. This is the hardest turn for most people. You spent this turn in fourth gear. Yes. I'm always flat out fifth here. Oh my God, how? Because if, if you come out of that turn lined up properly, you come out of the turn previous to this, you down or you upshift into fifth, and you're perfectly lined up to apex this so that just the, like I mentioned in the last turn, you're gonna slide out to the outside line flat out. So it's a very it's a very harsh apex. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a, an actual warm up lap, then we'll turn some laps and see what my times are. All right. Oh, and right here, I break on number three. Full braking force, downshift to second coming into here. Okay. So it's full braking force. Hey, at least I did one thing right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were braking on three? I was braking on three. Yeah. All right, so let's warm it up. So Jay's best lap he turned was a 50-316, and I'm actually turning about a 51.5-ish. So I've got nearly a, a little over a second that I need to make up a lap. About 1.2 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and apply what Jay's showed me and see if we can go ahead and uh, increase my time. I think I will because I was doing my, – my lines were dramatically different than yours. The, the, the lines yeah, and my gearing. gearing were yeah. a bit different. All right. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Alright, so I tried to do some coaching here, and I, th I think ultimately it might have been a little bit successful. I felt like there was a vast improvement. Okay, so my time was a 50.316, and your first time, your best time, which took you a few laps to get there, was a 51.5-ish. Yes. Now, your best lap after some coaching was a 50.9, I think it was a 908. Yeah, and I've never broken in the 50s. So the cool thing is we dropped you a whole 0.6 seconds, which on a track like this is actually quite a bit. It's a yeah. short track. There's not many areas to make up some time. But I don't know what the entire message of this video was. Maybe we just wanted to bring you guys some fun, can Jerry actually drive sort of videos. I think we were just trying to prove that you are faster than me, and with a little instruction, I could be faster too. And with a little instruction, I could be faster. Yeah, so my goal now is to go home, use your instruction, improve upon your instruction. And then come back next time and instruct you how to get into the 49s, which is where I'll be here in like a week or so. Yeah, but I think, and people are, people, I've seen people pull 46s in this car on this track, and I don't know where the hell they're making up that time. That's called cheating. Oh. 
But no, I think ultimately you shaving 0.6 seconds off your time is pretty impressive considering it's in a car you didn't know. Correct. So it was interesting because it was it was purely virgin. Yep. Virgin for life. Am I right, fellas? Right. Girls? Maybe, I think the fellas might be more into you. Yeah, they are, actually. They, they like plumper fluffers. The fact that you pulled 0.6 6 seconds off of your time in a car you didn't know on a track you knew... Uh, by changing up your driving style. So, I mean, it's not easy to be used to one thing and then yeah. change it all up. It worked for you. You started slipping back into your old driving patterns. I was, yeah. So, but at least you learned uh, just kind of some things to look at when it comes to the track. I mean, it, most people know the general apex rule. You know, you outside, inside, outside on a turn. Yep. But you got to think not just the turn that you're in, especially on a track like this where they have S turns. Uh, you have a, a complete uh, decreasing radius hairpin turn. Yep. So there's a lot of things to think about, and sometimes the entry point may not make sense. That's what she said. But you you basically just got to line up the car for the next turn. That's what you got. You got to think ahead. You got to think. Ahead. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a little bit of eye racing, just seeing if we can improve on his times. And my times need some work too, my God. Yeah, and they do. I, I kept trying to push it really hard and I kept like slamming the wall like 140. You have to admit, it. you can't get your fastest time when you're on camera and people are watching. You oh, absolutely can't. not. You can't. The second you turn this thing on, everybody loses a little bit of time. It's very nerve-wracking. But I think once you get home, you get in your sim, your familiar wheel, yep. your familiar pedals with that, you know, the load cell, br yep. lo uh, load cell brake. The fact that you can stand on that thing. Pedals aren't sliding around. You're on carpet pedals here. Agreed. So I think your times are ultimately going to prove on this track. Now, I think would be really fun in the future is teaching you how to really do some oval racing. No, no. That's what I want to get into next. Without Absolutely. slamming into the back of the car on the start. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to genuinely miss Jerry. In fact, I guess I already do because, again, you're watching this into the future. Yeah, I'm already back in Seattle. And if you're from the future, please give me the lottery numbers and I'll build you all a system. I promise. Yep. Well... With that, guys, I guess we're going to go ahead and get on out of here. Follow us on Twitter, at Barnacles, at Jay's Two Cents. Make sure you're subbed to him if you're not. 3D printer stuff, 346-inch monitors. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> All right, guys, as always, we'll catch you in the next one. Later.